Hello everyone and welcome to the new episode of Beyond Mirage. Today we have with us Malvika AK who is the art director of the band named When Chai Met Toast. Welcome Malvika to the podcast of Beyond Mirage. Hi and thank you so much for having me. I'm so excited. This is my first podcast interview. That's great and I think it would be the best one and I have a set of questions prepared for you. Uh, and i would like to start first with that when did you start your journey and what is your inspiration behind this such an amazing artwork first of all thank you so much um i do have a doubt journey as an art director or person who is just into art person who is just into art uh, that uh, began from a very young age uh, i was always into designing and drawing especially illustrations i used to always i think my f- i used to always you know disney jungle book i've never told this to anybody before i think from uh, i had a lot of their comic books with me story books and everything illustrated story books and i've always been fascinated and i think my parents told me that these are all drawn by people and i was like oh my god i have to try i think looking and drawing from them from their uh, disney books i think that's when i began and my dad is also like my dad said we have a lot of artists in the family i think it sort of runs in the blood as well okay 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 and what's yeah. your inspiration behind this behind i think no i i can't say for sure uh, i think inspiration depends is different for different people Every, i draw inspiration from daily life in general but mainly it's from a lot of these very uh, vivid dreams that i it sounds really weird when i say it but i actually have a dream journal it's a journal that i keep where i write down every dream that i have whichever i remember sometimes you you don't remember most of it when you wake up right so even if it's at 4 am in the morning if i wake up after seeing a dream i write it down then and there so i have it by my bed always okay so i yeah so i revisit the stories that i dream it sometimes sometimes i i just dream about kittens i'm a huge cat fan i have a lot of cats at home but yeah even though it's from the silliest of uh, small topics that i dream about i do actually get a lot of inspiration from that nice nice so uh, why did you choose this style of art form compared to some traditional drawings or paintings this style as in what i do right now like the line art or like the yes. digital art yeah line art digital art uh first of all i'm i'm only good at drawing i'm i'm not good at uh, painting at all so i've always uh, stuck to growing my t- the talent that, that i have instead of spoiling it something new i know that's a very wrong way to go but uh, i uh, i'm very confident about the fact that i can draw on any medium so i've always tried to improve what i have rather than trying to add a lot of things and then try to make an amalgamation out of it so i've always stuck to what i have it's not because it's on the only reason i haven't really explored is because i've tried and tested and that's not my thing i'm not into painting or any other adding colors as per but i am trying i am trying slowly okay but yeah so hoping to see some good art forms in that form also hopefully soon this year hopefully great great so now going to your your mental level more at uh, inside the mind can you take us through the process of creating an art like what starts first and then how do you go about it and what is the end result especially at your mental level uh okay then i'll i'll speak with by taking an example so the latest album artwork i done for when chime it was let's take that for instance so the brief i was given by the band was they have like see we have seven to eight songs uh we uh they gave me so and so like a proper description of what they uh what they're going to release about their music right so they gave me a detailed explanation of what each song is going to be and what the emotions they're trying to convey so what i wanted to do was create an artwork that depicts that gives importance to each song 
suppose they have seven to eight songs i wanted to give each and every song their own specific importance like their uniqueness i wanted to bring it out so what i did was uh, i for, took the lyrics and uh, you know kept on in loop hearing all the songs then i wrote down my own uh, brief for myself i wrote what i understood from the song then i took whatever they gave me from the song and then i started doing my color theory study because uh, each color that we have each color that we see conveys a different emotion like if you see yellow bright yellow in front of you you automatically feel happy right, right. right. it's bright it's yellow you, it gives you a positive emotion so with that i studied uh, different colors and different emotions and then i designated each color to each song which conveys the most emotion suppose red is for a song that talks a lot about confusion and sort of like anger within yourself and you're really confused blue color talks about being happy being able to fly things like that so and then uh, that was the first step the second step was shapes okay uh, so i had to assign a lot of shapes and even shapes convey a lot of emotions circle square square a definite it's a definite four sided space and square conveys safety because we know we're going to be inside that right so things like that so doing an in depth study of shapes and co- combining all these shapes suppose one symbol might have circle square and lines together so things like that so trying to figure out how to convey emotions through shapes and colors was what i studied i did not believe in just adding a random line to an artwork just to complete it even if the smallest of dot does not have the meaning i don't feel the need to put it in that's how i've always worked so i think that's that is one of my uh, one of the process methods intense research and uh, trying to bring out the meaning of the song okay so minimalism is the key word i would say like you try to minimize bringing out minimalism but uh, behind that single shape will have a lot of meaning and research exactly 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 yeah. so, so how much time does it take for the entire process to get completed oh that depends uh, this this one took me good two and a half months they gave me a lot of time uh, but i mean i've had artists come up to me and uh, say see we need an artwork for day after tomorrow this is what it is this is what it is this is exactly what we want so then i have like no sleep and i don't have this much time for research so i just like note down for a couple of concepts that come to my head and then i work on that i don't sometimes it depends on the client mainly if you get the time to research the product's going to be like well done and well researched so if i don't have a little time the product's going to be well done but the research will be less so it just depends on that as well okay but uh, two and a half months is a very long time for that small piece of art when we see it on instagram maybe or yeah. on a cover album but a lot of hard work goes behind it that's true yeah and uh, i got to ask you this how do you avoid creative blocks because once we start uh, growing in life uh, there are certain kind of patterns that keep repeating in our life and we have that kind of mental patterns over a period of time developed in our mind so to be creative and to get new everything new uh, say new ideas in each kind of work that we do we need to avoid that creative block so how do you avoid that so initially when i was studying in college i did have the time to get creative blocks and i just used to you know just like ignore what i had to do for a very long time till i have an idea but right now i work as a full time architect and i uh, on the side i've started a small stationery company and i do freelance work so as you like i have no time to have any creative block so in case i do get a creative block I, my whole day from 9 to 6 i work in an office right so if i get a creative block in between that i'll take work from either this end or this end and do it in between either i work on my own company or i work on my own uh, artworks that i have to send people right so what i do is i just mix up my work so if i have a, a creative block in office and i cannot design a room 
for a specific reason i do my work in between and in case at night if i can't work in something else i put the other work out just and in case that i have extreme creative block and i can't work in any of the three aspects i completely take all my work keep it away for good two days and i've done that like i've sometimes even taken a day off from office because i have a lot to finish right so my mental health is also important for me so what i do is i just take some time off completely for myself and i just i been george a lot i just take a break i'm on my bed and a lot of self care goes out and then i'm watching or i'm just sleeping mainly like right right now i'm extremely sleep deprived because i have a deadline for the 19th so i'm just like working 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 even on a sunday i have to go to office right after this so um yeah i just take a complete break and i just sleep it off or watch movies that's what i do got it got it so a complete say shut down complete shut down yeah exactly shut down got it got it now uh, say a bit more at a mental level question say when you are doing or creating an art okay do you feel that you are completely immersed in it and are you and the art one like if there are distractions going on uh, outside you are they going to actually distract your mind or you are completely immersed in that i've i've actually had you know those instagram q and a that happens uh, somebody has asked me this and uh, my answer to that was i am the art i make so if i'm not satisfied with it i don't put it out so yes i am completely immersed when i'm making something okay so why do you think it happens like if there are so many distractions going around you but you are actually focusing on something and you are creating that art because the art that you create requires a lot of concentration a lot of accuracy a lot of precision so why do you think that when you are doing that nothing going around you will be able to distract you i think the simple answer to that is the passion you have i think passion is the right answer if you have your pa- if you have your passion set and i'm always i always tell people if you have more than one passion also it's fine it's okay to have multiple passions i have multiple passions i have like three at, at the same time so as long as you have that passion towards the thing you're doing you automatically become dedicated nothing around you seems important when you are doing that and that's the most important thing that you will be doing as well so yeah i think passion is the reason why i immerse myself into this that's great that's great passion is the word yeah and uh, say what are your comments on the future of art like there is an old style of art and there are new growing platforms and digital artwork so what are your comments on that and what which one do you prefer more uh for me uh i still i still use both equally uh for my instagram platform i think i use my digital artwork more but for my office work for designing spaces i don't directly just start on the computer i have a sketchbook with me at all times i start with just sketching it on the sketchbook and bringing about ideas i'm a person who does uh, both traditional and digital equally so and again i don't i don't think i can comment on it for other people as well because it's one's comfort so a lot of people are comfort i know people who hate digital drawing because they're so comfortable with traditional and i know people who are so comfortable with digital and probably because they might also not be as great as in traditional method that like you know in digital they might be better so it depends on the comfort level as well so yeah got it got it and any final word that from your end that you would like to tell to all the viewers listeners who would like to have their creative juices flow throughout i would like to just tell everybody if you have a creative block give yourself some time don't think that's the end of the world because i have a lot of people who text me saying this is a cre- i'm having a huge creative block and i don't think i can do this anymore so try to keep the negative thoughts at bay that's one thing you need to do keep it at bay do not ever let it consume you so what consumes you it controls you as well so do not let that happen so give yourself some time and you know 
nobody is rushing you i mean i'm sure you have deadlines but it's okay to take some time for yourself just talk to your client or anything just just yeah keep the negative thoughts at bay that's good that's good awesome so uh, thank you so much malvika for joining in us today and telling taking us through the process of creating the design telling us the importance of shutting down uh, at once for not having a creative block and also talking about the various art forms i think definitely this would be helpful to the people who are going to listen this and i hope that all would have enjoyed the episode thank you so much malvika for joining us thank you so much for having me